Hey friends, so there is new stuff in the Legends portal, one and two. So let's talk about, not her, this new guy. <coughs> He's an old guy with a new costume, Gregorian. Go back to the normal. Um, so this time he's a Dodger, part of the 2018 Legends family. Costume bonus, 21, 21, 38, 5. Massive enhancement. There is a passive. So he dispels the newest status effect buff from all the enemies. And from experience, even though it's not showing on the original costume, it shows up there as we have experienced from the past. Whoever has that particular hero. Yeah. Um, so, stats have got improved because of that, but still, this is really very low. I mean, because of this, health really goes high for these old fellows with a new costume, but defense and attack suffer. 906 is still on a lower side, especially because this guy wax one. So, exquisite alchemy at average speed is the special. Uh, deals 435% damage to the target. 455, 20% reduced. All allies get plus 40% critical chance. It was 30 and this is 40, which is fantastic. 40% Critical chance to all allies is excellent. Element link gives all nature allies 5% attack and 5% defense for 6 turns. This effect cannot be dispelled. So basically a rejig of this. 20% of the damage to the target has been reduced and critical chance has been increased. So I will say this costume version is better than the original because a little less whack really doesn't matter. 10% extra critical chance way better and of course Costume brings this particular passive into play. But most important, or I would say equally important, is the stats boost. So yeah, that's Gregorian. Old version, repackaged, with a little bit of extra whacking power. <laughs> okay. Is Grave Maker still relevant? Those are very low stats. <sighs> Okay, let's go and check the newbie, Lazara. So Lazara is a holy barbarian, champion's family legendary hero. The champion's family bonus is available to one, two, three. Now then I think he's the third introduction, if I remember, no, fourth. So Satori, then Norman, then we have another fellow and now this is the fourth one uh, so 30 35 percent 50 percent and 65 percent attack is the bonus available to the champions family as if they need um, they have multiple passives so the first passive is mana buff on status ailment received plus 24 percent mana generation for three turns when this character receives a status ailment or a negative stack that's self-explanatory. When an ally attempts to cleanse by using special skills, all allies receive 300 boosted health. Wow. It can activate only once per turn. Wow. Yeah, with just a passive, the ally cleanses. No, one second. Special skills. So the passive related cleanse will not work. Will not activate that passive. Then, when an enemy attempts to cleanse by using special skills, all allies receive, sorry, all enemies receive 300 damage. Wow, so that cleanse aspect activates boosted health for allies and damage, 300 damage to enemies. Nice. Oh, well, you can time because... Cleansing is completely in your control. Sometimes when it's not required, you'll still cleanse because um, you get your boosted health and you give it back to the opposite. 
looking at the stats 1040 attack uh, 1017 and 1730 all three as a combo fantastic it is indeed a home run for this baseballer um at average speed cleanses status ailments from all allies without triggering secondary effects <laughs> deals 325 percent damage to all enemies okay he gives a whack after cleansing all enemies get minus 50 percent decrease of any healing received for four turns okay all enemies can't get their status ailments cleansed or reallocated by special skills for four turns. This effect also prevents cleansing and reallocating to itself. Okay, fair enough. The tricky is cleanses status ailments from all allies without triggering secondary effects. Now, secondary effects. What the fuck is secondary effect? My understanding would be... Okay, not... Okay, so his cleanse does not activate this, is my understanding. Otherwise, the second portion doesn't need to be written. So it's clearly defined over here. When an ally attempts to cleanse using special skills. So his cleanse does not activate this and this. So this is the special skill and this is the secondary effect. So every effect, the primary effect is the special skills. Secondary effect is other than the special skills is my understanding in terms of wording. So him and also it's included in the wording over here when an ally attempts to cleanse so his cleansing does not activate his secondary skills then he goes on to damage reduce gives an ailment of reduced healing and enemies get a status effect preventing them their ailments to be cleansed or reallocated cleansed is regular cleansed and uh, reallocated is there are heroes that pick it up and throw it opposite allocate it somewhere else well as the previous three uh, fellows have been absolutely crazy lazara also does quite a lot so basically he's a lone wolf what i'm seeing is uh, the champions family has been designed to be lone wolves they can go and you know whack all so this guy is impacting all on the opposite side and on his side through the primary and the secondary. I'm going to start using the secondary term now. <laughs> through the primary effects and the secondary effects. Wow. Woohoo! Crazy guy. And look at the max preview too. And he's a dodger from 8th power. So yeah, there you go. That's your new Champions Family Edition. Cheers. Oh, before cheers. Good luck for getting these fellows and congratulations if you have already landed the one that you desire.